The UN Human Rights Office has released a preliminary report on the recent unrest in Bangladesh, which occurred between July 16 and August 11. Nearly 650 people have been killed during this protest. The report highlights serious human rights violations, including extrajudicial killings, arbitrary arrests, and detentions. From July 16 to August 4, around 400 deaths were reported, and additional 250 people were reportedly killed in a new wave of protests on August 5 and 6. This unrest also led to the ouster of former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Media and protest movement report that over 600 people died during the anti-discriminatory student demonstrations. The report also notes that some deaths occurred between August 7 and 11, including those injured during the violence and later died in the hospitals. The report mentions that protesters, bystanders, journalists and security forces were among the dead. Thousands were injured, overwhelming hospitals. The UNHCR report suggests that the actual death toll could be higher due to the movement restrictions and an internet shutdown. Moreover, state authorities reportedly prevented hospitals from releasing details about the dead and the injured. The unrest was triggered by reinstatement of a controversial quota system for civil service jobs. The UN report points to signs that security forces used unnecessary and disproportionate force during the unrest. It also mentions severe restrictions on freedoms of expression and peaceful assembly. There were reports of looting, arson and attacks on religious minorities as well. The report also highlights reprisals against members of the former ruling party and the police after Hasina's resignation. On August 15, mobs reportedly assaulted supporters of the former Prime Minister's Awami League party. The UN stresses the importance of restoring law and order quickly. It calls for effective measures to prevent further violence and retaliatory attacks. The UN also emphasizes the need for law enforcement to follow international human rights standards. On Friday, human rights chief Volker Turk called for accountability for those responsible for these violations. He also highlighted the historic opportunity for Bangladesh to ensure governance anchored in human rights. Turk announced that a team from his office will visit Bangladesh next week to investigate the killings and support the country's transition. Meanwhile, Nobel laureate Muhammad Yunus was sworn in as the chief advisor of the interim government on August 8, following the resignation of Sheikh Hasina on August 5. The Bangladesh National Hindu Grand Alliance reported that Hindu minority faced attacks in 278 locations across 48 districts. Several temples, homes and businesses were destroyed during the unrest. The UN report praised efforts by student organizations, faith leaders and others to protect minorities. It also welcomed the interim government's strong condemnation of these acts. Turk welcomed the release of thousands of detainees, including some victims of enforced disappearance. He urged the release of all those arbitrarily detained. The report concludes with the recommendation for political actors, the interim government and the international community to address the ongoing crisis. It also calls for long-term legal and institutional reforms in Bangladesh.